Hello everyone and welcome to our Huawei Network Practice Lab course on our channel. In this course we will cover the fundamentals of network configuration and troubleshooting, providing you with the skills and knowledge to know to succeed in this field and pass the Huawei exam. I'm really excited to share this information with you and uh, help you to take your networking skills to the next level. For this uh, and others uh, clips for this course, we will use a Huawei software e NSP, uh, which is the similar as Cisco Packet Tracer. In this episode 1, we will cover the lab on how to configure basic stuff on Huawei switches, and here is some of our tasks. So basically, we will do next. We will configure the hostname, password for the login, we will see how to, to synchronize clock time, uh, how to shut down and unshut down the uh, network interface, how to define loopback address, and uh, how to see running configuration and interface status. Here in our software we have one basic switch which will be uh, go to the CLI mode and here it is. So how we will do it? First we will rename it so we, it will not be the hostname Huawei, we will change it to for example test and we will do by command system view which is enabling us to go to the configuration mode and there uh, we will define we will define the host name by command sys name and we will set test now we, you can see the host name now is test the second task is to configure login password uh, we will define for the uh, for the console user and we will do by user interface console 0 so the highest pri uh, priority authentication mode will be the password and we will set authentication password and to the cheaper so basically it will be encrypted in the in the our in the configuration uh, when we read the configuration and we will put for example test okay so when we go ctrl z uh, to save the configuration we will just write save are you sure yes and these messages which you see to appear uh, that is because the terminal monitoring is uh, always on uh, okay, so the next we will do the reboot. So basically, yes, to check uh, after rebooting, we we should see the uh, prompt for the password to log in on the, this switch. And you can see it. We type test, and here we are gone again. So basically, the console line uh, password protection is working. To set clock time. Uh, it's easy, just go clock by question mark. You can see the daytime, for example, to set. Sorry. Then you can specify time. So, for example, I don't know, 020002 doesn't matter. Uh -huh. They need probably date. Yeah, so 2024 to 20, for example. Uh, display clock and you can see that time so by uh, common display it's a, like a show in the Cisco uh, CLI uh, it's equivalent and basically you can see the time zone day and other stuff so you can change it manually or or to uh, later we will see how to uh, configure NTP okay uh, the next basic stuff it's about the interface so we will for example shut down some interface go to system view in the system view choose uh, interface choose the for example 001 and i will go shut down also i can change the description so description test and now we will go here back and display inter uh -huh, sorry display interface uh, display interface brief 
and here you can see it's down by this star it means this admin down okay and also you can choose for example description and here you can see description with defined test if you want to uh, to no shutdown basically you go to system view choose interface gigabyte ethernet 001 and undo shutdown okay so basically this is the the steps by uh, how to configure the shutdown and uh, no shutdown interface if you want to, to define the loopback address we can go system view interface loopback define zero and then go ip address and define some address whatever for example this one okay. uh, that is regarding that and uh, how to configure a loopback address uh, to see running configuration uh, we i already show you so display and uh, by display current configuration will show us everything which we configured and already i mentioned save to save the configuration uh, so always ensure you save your configuration after making any kind of changes to avoid losing them after reboot and uh, that would be that for the, this first let's say introduction to the Huawei uh, CLI mode and uh, some basic commands uh, thank you for watching this video on our uh, Huawei Natural Partners Lab course we hope you found it informative and valuable to continue your learning be sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel and if you have any kind of questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next